Daily Minutes of Saturday. This is Peter John of Emergency Radio. Today's broadcast is completely in English. We start as usual with the propagation bulletin of the RGB. And now the radio propagation report compiled by Golf Zero Kilo Yankee Alpha, Golf 4 Bravo Alpha Oscar and Golf 3 Yankee Lima Alpha on Friday the 18th of September. Despite ongoing solar coronal holds and their contribution to the high-speed solar wind, HF conditions have fared a little better than in previous weeks. Now, this is due to the traditionally better autumnal HF conditions, which actually should improve further as the month goes on. Despite the geomagnetic K index never really dropping below 3 and often hitting 5, maximum usable frequencies have exceeded 18 MHz at times, sometimes making 21 MHz. Now, radio hams waiting for decent 10 meter openings may still have to wait for another month though, and then they may be sparse given the poor solar flux index. NOAA predicts that the solar flux index this week will be around 105, dropping away to 90. The K-Index may suffer yet again from the effects of the high-speed solar wind. Thursday and Friday are predicted to be the most unsettled, geomagnetically speaking. The 6G's de-expedition to Niue Island in the Pacific should be underway by now. The best predicted paths to Echo 6 Golf Golf look to be on 20 metres and 17 metres with an optimum short path opening on 17 metres between 10 and 1400 UTC and maybe again at 1800. There may also be a long path opening on 17 metres around 1900 UTC. Just a reminder as well, September's quite a good month for north-south paths on HF, such as UK to South Africa and South America. In between geomagnetic storm events, we should also see the lower bands becoming more usable too. And now the VHF and upwards propagation news. Well, Sunday looks promising for tropo conditions to the continent and the southeast, but this is only likely to last for a day or so. By Wednesday, there may be some tropo from the west of the UK, which could couple into the Atlantic tropo systems off of Iberia and West Africa. The remnants of Tropical Storm Henri brought some nice rain scatter propagation to 5.7 and 10 gigahertz last week, but sadly, few UK sections were actually active to take advantage of it. Next week's looking drier though, but still be aware of some possibility of rain scatter on the gigahertz bands in any showers that might crop up. Also, watch out for auroras, as there's a number of sunspots with the potential for M-class solar flares. The sporadic E season's pretty much over, so it's unlikely that there's going to be much more in the way of propagation for that mode on the VHF bands. There are no major meteor showers this week, so keep looking in the early mornings for the best random meteor scatter opportunities. For EME operators, the moon is at its lowest declination on Sunday, so we will see short moon windows, but losses will be at their lowest at Peregrine on Monday. And that's it from the Propagation team this week. Don't forget, if you've got any news items that you'd like to have included in future broadcasts of GB2RS that also appear in the Radcom magazine, you can get in touch by sending an email to gb2rs at rsgb.org. UK. And don't forget, you can also subscribe to this podcast, the very one you're listening to now, by visiting the TX Factor website at txfactor.co.uk or via iTunes and searching the iTunes podcast section for TX Talk. I'm Mike Marsh, G1IAR, reporting with the TX News weekly podcast of GBTRS. Thanks for listening. We'll see you here next week. Daily Minutes is daily at 1700 UTC on 6.005 and 73.10 kHz and five minutes later on the PI2 NOS repeater system. Next day there are reruns. 800 UTC on 73.10 kHz, 830 UTC on PI2 NOS and 12.30 UTC on 95.60 kHz. Our weekend shows are in English, all other shows are in Dutch. Mail address is delta x-ray at x-ray delta victor dot mic echo.